Hey, Wilson. Hey, Wilson Morales from Black Women TV, talking to the one and only Notori Norton. I, I think I've seen every one of your projects. You know, I'm honored. Thank you. I don't need to go to Wikipedia, IMDb. I'm like, wait a minute. I, I remember Notorious. Then I remember Mad Men. Then I remember Playboy. You know what I'm saying? You keep working. Yes. I go, this girl know how to keep a job. You know? <laughs> I was like, she got a good team around her, you know? That's why like, she stay working, you know? It's like, you like the Hazel Lockley of television. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, hey, I'll take it. Thank you. That's, that's, it's not easy to do, especially as a black woman in Hollywood, but we are making it happen over here. So thank you so much. So you've got Queens. And the funny thing about this is that when you think about your character, Jill, yes. this girl is a church girl a lesbian, you know, <laughs> a, rapper. A, a, a rapper, you know, that must be the juiciest part to take. Obviously, you know, when the time was coming, when you knew you at some point you had to leave power, I'm assuming you were throwing a couple of projects here and there. What led you to say yes to this? Oh, well, first of all, I never really officially left power. Tasha is still alive. So we'll leave that there. Uh, Courtney Kemp would always say, if someone's still living, <laughs> there's always chances. But specifically the journey to a new series regular uh, role in a leading uh, role like this was so exciting. And the reason why I chose Queens, because there was a couple of pilots that were um, thrown at me. And I, I read this script and I remember thinking like, this is so much fun. It is fun, funny, dramatic. I lived it. This is kind of my life. And the writers, I hear McGee, we had a meeting via Zoom and Tim Story and Sabrina Wynn from ABC Signature. And I'll never forget being like, I really can see myself working with these people and playing this character, obviously, the fact that she is a lesbian and it's totally different than anything I would normally do. I was a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I couldn't wait to show I could still make her, you know, human, grounded and not, you know, fall into a stereotypical version of Jill. So I really appreciate that I got this opportunity. I'm having the time of my life. Now, when you read For the Row or they give you now, are you more like Jill the Thrill or like any of the other characters? What part <laughs> of you is like? Jill or like any of the other characters? Hmm, that's actually a really good question. I mean, I don't I don't know that I'm like Jill, in, but I am, once she finds her voice and decides to come out and be more free, I think that's when I have some similarities with Jill. Jill is very opinionated. Jill is very strong-minded. Jill is also strong in her church community, just like me. She is Catholic, I'm Baptist, I grew up in church. So, you know, and I think she's feisty. You know, she's definitely sweet and demure at first, but once you see who she becomes, you're gonna be like, okay, Jill, she, she found her voice and her swag. And so I enjoy, I enjoy that tapping into that part. Now it's been a minute since you sang like that. You know, did you, did you have to get back into the no. groove again? It's not the same anymore. And, only, and then even though it's a show, but when you're rehearsing this stuff and you're rehearsing with other folks that have done Ooh. this, you know, yeah. It's Pressure. like riding a bike. <laughs> it, it was, but it's also like a rusty bike. The, the, the wheels, I was like, ah! But mm -hmm. rapping um, came very natural to me. Again, I haven't really rapped since Notorious, really. So it was kind of like tapping into to that again. But it actually came, I mean, all the producers in my first session, Swiss and Sean C and uh, Matt Head, they were all like, girl, you, you trying to put out a, a, a rap album? What you trying to do? Uh, but I, I definitely enjoyed that. But singing, which I actually get a chance to do in episode four, so look out for my solo performance. Um, it was something that I always loved to do. I still sing now. I'm in the studio recording, working on Naturi Naughton music, my solo project. But I haven't done anything like this in a television setting in a long time. So I'm not gonna lie, I was so nervous. And Brandy's right there and I'm like, okay, did I hit, the, did I get the notes? Did I get the harmonies? Because she is the vocal Bible that I've literally studied the pages. So um, it was it was an honor and it, it is like riding a bike, but I definitely feel like I had the support of the entire team to make sure I could perform to the best of my ability. And like I said, you know, you're on one show, you may be at another show, you may come back to another show. I go, people wonder, you know, do you get a check every time they say Tasha? 
I wish I would as much as people call me Tasha walking down the street. You know, I was talking about on the show, you know, with season two, Ghost coming back. Oh, oh, interesting. <laughs> Great question. Every time they show my face, you know, hey, my likeness is valuable. So uh, that's just, you know, a little tidbit. As an actor, uh, once you get to that point, you, you'll see. But uh, now, the other day, somebody was like, hey, you know, Jill the Thrill, like literally just said it as I was trick-or-treating with my daughter. And I was like, oh, wow. Um, but it's it's amazing how people have really, they know Tasha, but now they're really starting to gravitate towards the excitement of Jill the Thrill. And that's the beauty about being an actor. You can do so many roles that you don't have to be confined to one just name. This is my, so we'll just... This is my goal, Wilson. I don't want to be in the box. You can't say playing little Kim, playing Lottie Taylor, so you're playing a Playboy bunny, and then in that, like I could be, I want to be in any era, any period, any, you know, subject matter, because I, I want to be able to go dark like power, but also go light and funny and refreshingly funny, um, like in Queens. So I try not to put any limitations on myself. Queens is popping, you're popping, you know, I'm always going to support you. So wherever you're at, stay safe. I'm sure okay. I'll see you somewhere because that's how we do. <laughs> I appreciate you. And thank you for all the years and the many times if I see you, you're always supportive. Hey, thank as long you. as you're working, I'm working. You know? <laughs> I know that's right. Let's keep each other working, okay? Take care. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.